thought I was having a heart attack. My heart rate was elevated 97 to 120, standing, not doing anything. My blood pressure was elevated in the 130s. 130s over 80 was really high for me. I went to the ER. Welcome to my channel, Intentional Nurse Life Balance. I share information on health and becoming debt free. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I guess I just didn't want to admit that I was experiencing what I was indeed experiencing. After all, I was a nurse and patients came to me with those same symptoms. There's no way I could be experiencing the same thing as my patients. But the truth is, I had been a nurse for two years and I was at the point where I dread going to work. I would stay in my car and cry. I would cry before work, I would cry after work. I cried for almost the two years that I worked on the med surge floor. There were happy days indeed. There were some very good days. And for the most part, all my coworkers were amazing to work with. When I just started on the floor, I had a coworker in particular who would stay over just to ensure that I got my charting done. I worked with some amazing nurses that did not eat their young. There were a few that were questionable, but for the most part, 95% of the nurses I worked with were amazing. But that didn't change the fact that there were constant admissions and discharges and understaffing. The problem of shortage of nursing was nothing new or uncommon to the floor. So I guess I was at my limit with my vital signs being out of whack as they were. I could feel my heart thumping through my chest I knew something wasn't right. I went to the ER and I spent about two hours two hours waiting with my symptoms. Elevated heart rate, elevated blood pressure. After two hours, I decided it was time to go home. So I went home and I made an appointment with my primary care doctor. I ended up getting a 30-day event monitor, which was so ironic because many times I would arrange for patients to go home with event monitor for cardiac issues. And here I was being prescribed an event monitor. I had to wear the event monitor for 30 days. The doctor also recommended that I take some time off work. So I did. I I was off work for about a week. A few days prior to my work schedule, I remember I got a call asking if I could come in and pick up just a few hours because they were short. And I thought, I've been wearing this event monitor all this time and nothing's been wrong. I haven't had any symptoms. Certainly I can go in and pick up a couple hours of shit. So I went in and the minute I clocked in, the minute I pressed the numbers on the keypad, I didn't know it then. But 10 minutes later, I got a call from the company asking what was it that I did differently? Nothing. I am sitting down. I feel fine. Um, nothing. I haven't done anything different excepting to clock in for work oh what's the matter well what time did you clock in for work about 10 minutes ago okay what's wrong well 10 minutes ago your monitor started going off 10 minutes ago your heart rate became significantly elevated in all the time that i've been wearing the monitor that was the first time that my heart rate was significantly elevated so yes there it was concluded my symptoms that i was experiencing was directly related to working working on the floor when i went back to see my primary care physician in order for me was to quit my job, find a new job, and make whatever other personal changes I needed to make at that time. And at that time, what needed to happen was for us to sell our house. So I did just as the doctor ordered. I found a new job and we sold our house. So yes, I was two years into nursing, experienced burnout as a nurse. There's so many things you don't learn in nursing school to prepare you for what you are to experience working on the floor. We learn a lot about cultural competences relating to patients. But nothing about representation. Representation matters. Representation mattered for me. I was the only black nurse on the floor during the daytimes. No other nurse looked like me. This made me hyper aware of everything that I did. This made me question everything that I was doing, just double checking to make sure that I had done everything right. I would even go the extra mile to get things done when my counterparts were saying, don't worry about that. No, I wanted to make sure that I got it done because I was hyper aware of being the only black person on the floor and not wanting to do anything that was wrong or not wanting to leave or miss out anything. This added to my level of anxiety, as if the anxiety that comes with being a new nurse wasn't enough. I appreciated my time working on the med search floor, but I just had to leave. I had to go for my health. I had to make the decision to take care of my health. I did not enjoy what I experienced as a new nurse, which was pretty horrific for me. I remember having nightmares about the patient dying even before the patient died. 
And when I learned that the patient had indeed died, I cried my eyes out. Which is ironic because now I'm a hospice nurse. At the time I was working three 12-hour shifts, which were really never three 12-hour shifts. You go in right around 6 and you don't leave until about 8.30 p.m. You're on your feet constantly throughout the day, running back and forth up and down the hall, grabbing ice, grabbing water, taking people to the bathroom, on your feet, running to the lab, running to the pharmacy, constantly running, interacting with family, interacting with pharmacy, doctors, repeatedly calling doctors, scheduling discharge. I had seen patients with issues I never could even dream of. Patients with their flesh being eaten off, all their flesh constantly deteriorating for no apparent reason. There was so much that was seen. And because there is constantly that shortage in nursing, there's always that offer to pick up extra shifts. And when you're new and you don't know better about taking care of yourself during your days off, and when you're thinking about that extra pay, you pick up those extra shifts. By the time I'd come, I knew I had to do what was right for me. So that's what I did. I quit my first job as a floor nurse on a med search floor. But if I'm being quite honest, that wasn't the job I signed up for. I did not sign up to be a med search nurse, but things happen. Hey, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video.